we're gonna go. <laughs> Easy. So this is it. This is the 650 kilometer review of the KS18 XL. I've been riding it now for about three months, two and a half, three months, and I've been putting it through its paces and seeing what it's capable of. This, before I go any further, is a fantastic wheel and it will take one heck of a battering. I've ridden this over rough terrain, in and out of streets, in busy places, in forests and trails. And yes, it's looking like it's got battle scars. That is because I have dropped it a thousand times. And it's still riding, it's still riding like a dream. I'm gonna talk you through some of the things I really like about it and some of the things that are still niggling me and driving me a little bit crazy. But overall, if I was to give it a scores out of 10, this is a nine out of 10 wheel for me. And I'll give you the, the explanation why it's not 10 out of 10, but it is a fantastic, fantastic wheel. So I've said that I would give this wheel nine stars out of 10. And I'm being really picky because this is, as I've said repeatedly, a fantastic wheel and it has taken one heck of a battering from me and still rides really, really well. But let me run through some of the things that I've still got a bit of fault with. Now, the first thing is the Bluetooth speakers. Now, it's great that it's got speakers, but they're not high quality. If you're wanting this to play music through, you're not gonna get great quality of sound out of this. And I don't particularly like to play loud music blaring along as I'm riding through the streets. But what it is really good for is when you're riding through the cities, as I do, and you use navigation on your phone, then this pairs to the speakers, it pairs to my phone, so I get the, the uh, visible indication of where I need to go on my phone, and then audible instructions of where to turn coming quite clearly through the speakers. And even in a busy city on the streets, I know where I'm going, never get lost. That is really good. But there is this annoying feature with the Bluetooth where it connects automatically at the most annoying and the most inconvenient of times. So if you turn it on and off again, it will connect and it will do it like this. So I'll turn it off, it's fine. When I turn the wheel on, Bluetooth is connected. And that's fine, that's so you know you're connected, but you don't always want it to connect. And if you're on a train or you're in a public place and you're already quite conspicuous and then it blares out the Bluetooth, Bluetooth is connected, that can be a bit frustrating. Um, and the other thing is, if you plug this in to charge it, so it's, the wheel's not turned on, but you plug it in to charge it overnight, it's in the corner of the house somewhere, tucked away, you plug it in, and it does the same thing again. It says Bluetooth is connected for no reason. So you've got to go into your phone and disconnect it every time that you want to, to stop it connecting. Or you're walking around the house and your phone is repeatedly connecting and disconnecting. Why, when you plug it in to charge it, does this thing demand that it turns the Bluetooth on? I don't know, annoying feature. If you've liked this video then please hit the like button, click and subscribe, share it with everyone you know and love and maybe those people that you would like to irritate. Uh, but this has been a Speedy Feet production. Uh, as I said this wheel has taken a bit of a battering from me and it is starting to show some of the signs. And when I say a bit of a battering I have dropped this repeatedly as we've been spending time going over rough terrain and trying to jump over logs and trying to down into gullies and over streams and things and, and up, over, up over branches. I, I had one big crash on this and I did bust all the uh, the locking nuts from the front plate on one side. I if you can catch this here, but it's been dropped a few times today and the same thing has happened on the opposite side. One of the bolts that attaches the front plate there has sheared away and is loose. That means I've got to strip it down 
I'm going to have to try and glue that in place and fix it into position. It's just a little bit annoying that some wheels perhaps take a bit of a battering and don't break maybe as easily. Probably a bit picky because I have dropped this repeatedly and hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh, not, not enough speed. <laughs> oh dear, ow, my ankle hurts. I have a severe injury. Other things I can tell you, this is still getting the range that you'd expect. I've not ever ridden it to the point where it's running out. I've now done 700 kilometers on this and it is giving me easily, on every run I go, I do about 20 miles in a day and I come back and I've still got you know more than 50% charge left I've never needed to, to to run it to its limit I don't know when I would on a ride out do anything like the ranges this potentially got this will go all day we've been riding today we've done about um, I was checking earlier we've done about 25 kilometers on today and it's just said it's got 82 percent charge left on it so even with all the miles it's done it's still showing no sign of any kind of reduction of any kind of uh, mileage capacity there uh, and the power on this is immense. We've been riding up some steep terrain today and you know this has got the torque to actually get you up any incline. It feels really secure. In fact, I'm the one that bottles on the, on the steep hills. This one doesn't, this one keep going. Even at slow speed, you feel like it's not gonna uh, overpower. I have had it a couple of times where I've gone down steep hills when it's been fully charged up and on a really steep hill and then you tilt back to slow down and it's given that very loud shout that you are warning you are going over the voltage limit uh, and that annoying kind of x-factor announcer's voice with the american accent it's got so that is all working well the foot plates are still a bit annoying for me they're still quite stiff when you pull up to a place you want to stop and you keep the plates up into place the left hand side where that i use more frequently for that i have to say it's getting easier but it's still not easy you've still got to give it one heck of a whack and there's no way that i could i know somebody else said there was an, e an easy mod they said there's an easy mod you can do you can change it you can modify it this and then gave a 20 kind of set of instructions of how to modify it using all kinds of industrial press press machinery and all kinds of angle grinds and stuff i'm not that kind of patient person i'm never going to do that so i'll keep just complaining about it no joke there so for these guys jordan's just demonstrating there how um how not to do it and then he's just going to show you now you guys how to do it and there you go so that's the proper way of doing it that's what he said that's what you do Keep on coming by, keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming. You might as well do that route again that we did before. <laughs> Bad to worse. <laughs> Cheating. Now, I don't know this is because I've bashed it repeatedly, but what does happen from time to time as you're riding along, you hit a pothole, and then these protective covers for the power sockets, the USB charging ports, they just pop out of place. And that doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence uh, that I've got to keep leaning down and pushing that back in. Um, the speed of this, this will go reportedly it'll do about 31 miles an hour the most i've ever done out of this is about 27 or 28 i don't think you need really need to go any faster than that i know people out there love the speed but uh not me that's as fast as i'll ever want to go and it does it really with comfortably it, i don't kind of get that wobble and shake i get on some wheels when i'm going that speed this is really nice the other bit of a bugbear i've got is the app king song come on sort this out please the app 
it is improving, I guess, from, from previous generations, but it still feels like there's a bit of a lag that you're going along and the speed reading you're getting, I don't think is always genuine and accurate. And then when the app isn't working and it's not even running in the background, annoyingly, it will crash my phone. I'll get a message that comes up and says the Kingsong app has stopped working. And it's so frustrating you're watching something on Netflix or you're doing something else and repeatedly, repeatedly that comes up and it crashes the system. I don't know if that's my phone, a Samsung S8 latest update version available, but it keeps repeatedly doing so. Come on, King Song, sort those little things out. I know it's minor stuff, but it's those minor, minor things that, that get in the way of me saying this is a 10 out of 10 wheel. Now, for the money, this comes in just around about 2000 and a bit, so it's a lot of money, but you do get an awful lot of wheel and it takes a lot of wear and tear. The side pads have started to show the signs of some uh, breakage. If I just spin this round, if the camera will pick this up, but I've now got my first tear there in the pad. But to be honest, um, I think that is more me than the wheel. I know I've ridden this and I've dropped it repeatedly. These are made to be ridden, not made to be dropped. That's the truth of it. And if you look at all the kind of warning messages that Kingson put on the app before you ride it for the first time, it tells you what to do and what not to do with it. And there's lots of things you shouldn't do that perhaps a lot of us out there do do. Um, but other than that, this is a really good wheel. A lot of money, but worth every penny in my book. So that has been my review of the 650 kilometer KS18 XL. And I've got how many more miles to go for the next one? Quite a few, but uh, I will be riding every single one of them with a big fat grin on my face. So back to you in the studio. So there's probably Mario in the studio. He's not picking it up for some reason. Mario? And fake the black.